Hi, welcome back to my channel, Faraday Academy. Today I want to talk about coding boot camps and what advice I have for you if you are considering attending one. So the first thing I recommend is looking at boot camps that uh, fall into either of these two categories. First is that they screen their candidates heavily. For example, Hack Reactor or App Academy. These are two premier boot camps that get tons of applicants and screen very heavily before you go in, meaning you have to go in with a certain level of knowledge. You have to have worked in a related field or been studying coding on your own for a while. So they're very selective in who they take. And because they are so selective, they have very high placement rates. So if you fall into the right category of already maybe pretty much being near the junior developer level, then definitely consider a bootcamp like this. So if you don't fall into this category, then I highly recommend you choose a longer boot camp, a boot camp that is at least five months long. Some that I really liked are Thinkful, which is, I believe, at least five months, and they also have a part-time option where you can go for longer. I think they do an excellent job with the teaching. Uh, Kenzie Academy is one in Indianapolis where you actually go for a year and you learn front-end and back-end development in that time. And I've seen some success with students coming out of there. And then if you're into data science or machine learning, my number one that I recommend uh, would be Springboard. And this one is six months long. The problem that I've seen in boot camps that are three months or less where they don't screen the candidates heavily is that a lot of people fall behind and end up spending so much time and money and not getting a job in the end. So yeah, the promises sound great, just three months and you can have a new career, but it doesn't work like that. And usually if you go to one of those kind of three month boot camps, then it could take you three to nine months of studying on your own to still land a job afterwards. So another thing to consider when you're looking at a boot camp is what kind of career resources do they have? Do they help you find a job afterwards? Is there a job guarantee? Do they help you with networking? Some of that you're going to have to do on your own, but it is very helpful if they have strong community partnerships and relationships where companies hire interns from their program. And that's also one thing you can find out through doing what I recommend next, which is reaching out to as many students and teachers from the program as you can and asking about their experience. What did they learn? Did they get a job afterwards? How was the curriculum? How much work did they have to do outside of classes? Come up with a list of questions of things that are important to you and reach out to the students on LinkedIn, grab a coffee with them if they're local to you, and really do your due diligence with researching before you jump into a boot camp. Another thing you have to consider is that boot camps are largely unregulated. You see they make all kinds of outrageous claims. Oh, 95% of our boot camp attendees get dev jobs within three months. Well, what kind of dev jobs? And is that even an accurate number? How do you really know? Some of them just put whatever number they want on their website. Or they include roles that aren't developer jobs. It could be technical support, but they're counting it as a developer job, which really isn't fair. Even though there isn't much regulation right now, there are some groups like the Council on Integrity and Results Reporting, CIRR, that partner with boot camps, where boot camps like Thinkful promise to be transparent and accurate in their numbers and their reporting and everything is vetted through them. So I would look at the boot camp and see if they are being transparent and if they are vetted by a third party like this group. So you've done your research, you've talked to people, you've looked into the bootcamp program, reviewed the curriculum, and you think it's a good fit for you. Another huge thing to consider is living expenses. If you are the type of person that can motivate yourself and do a bootcamp from home, like the Thinkful program, by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these bootcamps. These are just the ones that I happen to like. 
So if you are self-motivated like that, then I highly recommend you do a remote boot camp, live as cheaply as possible, whatever makes sense in your life situation. If you do choose an in-person boot camp, just remember that the vast majority of them do not have living stipends. So either you have to have money saved or you have to take out a loan that's bigger than the price of the boot camp. And then you have to calculate per city how much is it going to cost you for rent and for everything else that you're going to need. I've mentored and TA'd for boot camps before. I've seen a lot of struggles that students have gone through and I really want you to make the right decision and to avoid a lot of those problems. So I hope you liked the video. If you have an experience with a boot camp, please leave it in a comment below. I would love to hear your experiences. If you like this channel, consider supporting me by buying my book about how to teach yourself how to code, which is full of useful information, whether you choose a boot camp or choose to teach yourself or whatever your path is. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.